the information represented here states that we are required to construct a polygon when giving the length of all sides. The information here is AB 50 millimeters, BC 65 millimeters, CD 54 millimeters, ED 70 millimeters, AE 60 millimeters, and angle A 120 degrees, angle B is also 120. It's very important to represent written information like this in a graphical form. Uh, based on what we have, we have this, was, this represents a five sided figure one, two, three, four, five, which is a pentagon. The first step is, would be to sketch our base. Our base AB is 50 millimeters. We also have an angle at point A, which is 120 degrees. It's up. So here, we have an angle here of 120 degrees. Point B also has an angle of 120 degrees. So we sketch those first. 120 degrees. Side AB, which is... 50, it's good to write that in. Side BC is 65 millimeters. So BC would have been on this side. BC 65 millimeters. Millimeters. Side AE it's good to draw the known first or draw or sketch the known first. It's always advisable to do that. Draw or sketch the known first. AE is 60 millimeters and it's at an angle of 120 degrees. Now we are here is C and here is point E. Now point CD and DE has a radial distance of from C to D has a radial distance of 54 millimeters, which means that it is at some distance 54 millimeters from C. So it would fall somewhere here. 54 millimeters from C. D is located. D is also located at a distance of E D uh, D E D E is also located at a distance of 70 millimeters from E. That's a radial distance of 70 millimeters from E. So from here we have 70. So this is a radial distance of 70 from here. Also a radial distance of 54 from here. So this would be the graphic color representation for this. It's always good. It's always advisable to sketch a diagram. It helps you to work much faster and give you a better understanding of what you're doing. So this is 54. All right. Having this information at some suitable location and a drawing or on a piece of paper is always good now that i have an idea of what i'll be doing i'll be drawing constructing this the first step here is to draw a horizontal line AB. Again, use a random length line of a approximate radius 50 millimeters or more. So now that I've drawn my horizontal line, my next step is to identify my starting point A. 
from point A measure 50 millimeters that will give her a point B so A to B 50 millimeters huh. hope this is large enough to go 50 millimeters B the next step so this is our side A B 50 millimeters now on to side B C B C is at an angle of 120 degrees and BC is 65 millimeters long. So the first thing to do is to construct the angle here at point B first. This is a 120 degrees. So to do that, open your compass to a suitable radius. Scribe your first arc. Using this point as center, go 60, 60, 120. Next step is to draw a line through or draw a line through 120 arc random length line for now random length we could also go ahead you could also go ahead and construct your 120 degree angle also at point A Here we have our 120 degrees and across here 120 degrees also. Now that we have drawn these lines, we can also we can mark off the distance on these lines. So B to C is 65 millimeters. So I open my compass to 65. my point C. Go across to point A E A E which is A D A D A E yes A E which is 60 A E 60 what I Now, here is a very interesting part. These are the two sides. They have, they, have, they have radar distance. There is no angle given for these sides. All that's given is the distance relative to two specific points. From C to D, from C to D is 54. So open your compass to 54. From C, square an arc. From E to D, 70. Open your compass to 70. Square 
place using ear center square of an arc at the point where both arcs meet that's our point D next step is to join D to E C to D and now we can break up It's always important to label and in labeling your dimension line should not be less than 10 millimeters from the object that's one second thing your extension line should not touch the figure there should be a gap of approximately three millimeters between your extension line and your object. Second thing, your extension line should be parallel to the side being dimensioned. Third thing, your arrows should be shaded. Should be shaded. Alright. Very important dimension and technique. 